right now, let's talk about, there's so many movies people want to discuss uh, this <laughs> morning. Let's get right to it. The movie that probably everybody's going to go to see this weekend, Dog. And Alan, yes. you're first <laughs> up. You're first up because you saw you saw Dog last night. Yeah, I saw Dog. We we had to uh, do the rock, paper, scissors, and uh, I, I wound, <laughs> wound up with Dog. And you, you wound up with the other film that everyone wants to talk about. Right, right. Um, yeah, you know, Dog, uh, it's not your typical dog movie. And I, I really like that. Um, first of all, it's not a kid's movie because there's swearing. There's a, there's a uh, menage a trois, uh, and uh, you know there it's it's very adult and and I think that right there because of that uh, I I started to like this movie and um and again it's not your typical dog movie where it's you know he, this guy who has to take a dog across the country it's a former military dog and he's bringing the dog to the family because of the death of its part its partner owner partner whatever master mm -hmm. and um. And and this bond occurs, so you you know we're we're into familiar territory here, but um, I I think what really struck out to me is that uh, this is not you know one of those movies where the dog uh, helps the uh, the you know Chan Tanning's character discover himself. In a way, um, you know both of them suffer from severe PTSD, and throughout their journey, as they make stop after stop, they begin to you know this wall that is built between them the two on his side and on the dog side mm -hmm. slowly gets broken down in a way that uh, just really feels natural and feels, you know, unforced. And I, I think that's the important thing. And, and if you've ever not only owned a dog, trained a dog, but had a dog with kind of psychological issues uh, like my current dog, um, this movie really resonated with me. I mean, it's like, yeah, this is kind of the journey I had with my dog. And, um, and uh, so I, I think it really tries to go down this path that isn't, you know, light, isn't, uh, you know, you know, just trying to be a goody two shoes family film. But I, I think it really tries to be real. And, and I think there's the, this realism that carries throughout. Um, it's still a dog movie. Uh, Channing Tatum is pretty good. And so, you know, I definitely give it that seven, that kind of mid range. You know, it's a good movie, you know, and, and not, you know, not like every other dog movie you may have seen. So like a six or a seven. Did your dog journey involve a threesome, Alan? Oh, with what? Did your dog journey involve a threesome? <laughs> no. No, I wish. Yeah. It, it might have. Uh, <laughs> you... Honestly, the, the stories that I've heard uh, about my dog is, uh, you know, <laughs> anything could, could have happened. Well, I, first of all, I'm not a dog person. I'm more of a cat person. Just because cats are like, I don't care. I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. I'm going to do whatever. It's the uh, other dogs. living entity in your home. Yeah, dogs, I just, for me, they've always just been sort of too needy, which is why every time I meet someone's dog, because I don't immediately give it attention, all dogs love me. And mm. it's the bane of my existence is I'll go and it's like, great, your dog, cool. And then because I don't immediately give it attention or love, it craves it. And then the dog oh, will yeah. just like, like uh, I've had a friend's dog like sit in my lap and my friend was like pissed off because like the dog doesn't even sit in my lap. So <laughs> this happens, but but I don't know. Yeah, there's I a lot like, of that in this movie. I feel like I, I, you know, having seen the trailer, I feel like I saw the movie, and everything you said just confirmed. The, the only thing that's a bit of a surprise is that it's more of an adult film and not mm -hmm. like a kids movie. I mean, the fact that there's like a threesome in it, like the threesome has nothing to do with the dog. Let's just be clear, right? There's a yeah, the dog is not involved in the threesome. I think that's a good <laughs> asking you. Yeah, I've always... Yeah, okay. Well, good. Good, because that's yeah. not... I, I don't think that would get a theatrical release. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're you're right in the sense of the, the story is fairly predictable. Um, you know, we're, we tend to be ahead of the story. You know, not that far ahead, maybe a step or two, but, um, you know, people like dogs, and, and I think this one... Uh, you know, is a much more realistic portrayal of these dog stories we've seen in the past. So you're going to say it's a good, good for a February dog movie with Channing Tatum. Yeah, basically. <laughs> you love dogs and you love Channing Tatum. There you go. There, there's your movie. All right. And, and I suspect it'll be better than the movie you're about to talk about. Well, no, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see. Um, we're, we're, we're going to get to it. Let's, let's uh, see who's, who's in the comments here. Fletcher Williams says, can't wait. 
D. Martin says another video game movie. Thanks, Hollywood. Well, we'll get to that. We're about to get <laughs> yeah, to that. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. And Marcus Bisma says, I should have seen Dog instead, Uncharted. Do they use CGI dog? No, okay, it's, it's three real dogs. And, and you know, oh, really? I, I think Call of the Wild was the death nail in CG animal movies. Uh, oh, you think I so? saw that and was like, oh, my God, this is this is not working. No, they, they use a real dog. And I, I think, um, and again, the dog doesn't do anything extraordinary other than, you know, do what military dogs do. And so there's, you know, they, they, you know you're not going to get, you know, dogs who could do weird tricks and, you know, known for something. So. Again, I, I love it that it's grounded. 